Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of our lesson. Part 2, week 4, sign 7. So, for part 1, we ended up here. So, let's start here for our part 2. Starting with number 1. Homologous chromosomes line up at the equator. The answer is letter D. Number two, daughter cells divide, forming four haploid cells. That's letter H. Then spindle fiber starts to reach out to centromeres of sister chromatids. That's letter E. Prophase 2. Number 4, sister chromatids separate, that is anaphase 2, letter G. And for number 5, cytoplasm divides amongst daughter cells, that is letter H, telophase 2 as well, the same as in number 2. Crossing over, of course, that's letter A, prophase 1. Alright. Let's proceed. Number 7. Spindle fiber starts to reach out to centromeres of homologous chromosomes. That is... Prophase 1. Then two daughter cells are created. That is... Telophase 1. Sister chromatids move to opposite poles. That is anaphase 2. Homologous pairs of chromosomes, number 10, that is anaphase 1. Then sister chromatids line up along the equator, that's metaphase 2. Alright, letter F. Now, let's proceed. So, we have another activity here, but we're running out of time. So, you may pause this video if you want to do this activity. So, you're going to cut out the stages of meiosis and descriptions, then stick them on a long bad paper in the correct order. Then, we have here number 12, a cell with two pairs of each set of chromosomes. It is called, okay, we call it, Deployed. Then a cell with only one set of chromosomes is called, alright, haploid. Then a type of cell division that results in diploid cells. That is mitosis. Then a type of cell division that results in haploid cells. That is meiosis. Alright, let's proceed to number 16. What is the number of, or what is the deployed number for humans? The answer is 40, ah, so sorry, 40, sorry, 46. That is 46. Alright, then haploid number that is 23. Alright, 23. This should be 2. Okay, 23. I find it hard to use pen here. Then when homologous chromosomes exchange genes, it is called... Crossing over. Number 18, how many daughter cells are created at the end of meiosis 1? The answer is 2. And meiosis 2, it's 4. Alright. Now let's proceed to the next part. Describe the similarities and differences between meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. 
So I have told you or I have discussed this already to you. You may pause this video if you want to uh, have a focus of each uh, similarities and differences. All right. For here, you're going to summarize the major differences between my uses one and my uses two in the table. So we have here the summary. We also have another activity, but since we're running out of time, let's now go directly to the formative assessment so that we can move to the next topic. Anyway, we already have two weeks for this topic alone. Alright, so number one, during which phase do chromosomes first become visible? A. Anaphase, B. Telophase, C. Metaphase, D. Prophase. Next number, a cell with 10 chromosomes undergoes mitosis. How many daughter cells are created? Each daughter cell has blank chromosomes. So just choose among the traces. Cytokinesis begins in which phase? Number three, this is number three. A metaphase, B telophase, A prophase, D anaphase. Number for each chromosome consists of two A centrofibers, B chromatids, C daughter cells, D centrioles. Number five, in the first part of prophase, A the chromosomes uncoil become faint, B the chromosomes are copied for the last time, C the chromosomes condense becoming visible, D the cell pinches in half. Number six, at the beginning of metaphase, all chromosomes are blank, A, at different locations in the cell, B, still in the nucleus, C, aligned at the equator, D, at one of two poles in the cell. Number 7, at the end of metaphase, A, the spindles disappear, B, each centromere splits in half, C, each chromosome becomes a pair of chromatids and attached to one another, D, B, and C only. 8. As anaphase begins, each matching chromatid is A. Pulled towards a different centriole B. Pulled towards the same centriole C. Pulled towards a different centromere D. Pulled towards the same centromere Number 9. At the end of anaphase, A. One side of the cell has received all of the chromatids B. The matching chromatids become attached at their centromeres once more C. A second equator is formed D. Each side of the cell has received a complete set of chromosomes Number 10, during telophase, a nuclear membrane, A, forms around one of the two sets of chromosomes, B, forms around each set of chromosomes, C, forms in the center of the cell, D, forms near each set of chromosomes. Number 11, meiosis results in A, two haploid daughter cells, B, four haploid daughter cells, C, two diploid daughter cells, D, four diploid daughter cells. Number 12, which of the following cells undergo meiosis? A, sperm cells, B, liver cells, C, unicellular organisms, D, all of these. Number 13, human body cells contain chromosomes A, 23, B, 30, C, 36, D, 46. 14, a cell containing the full complement of chromosomes is said to be a blank cell. A, haploid or 1N, B, haploid or 2N, C, diploid or 1N, D, diploid or 2N. 15. A cell containing one half of the normal complement of chromosomes is said to be a blank cell. A haploid or 1N, B haploid or 2N, C diploid or 1N, D diploid or 2N. 16. Crossing over blank. A allows chromosomes to move across the cell. B increases genetic diversity. C decreases genetic diversity. D does not occur in human cells. Which of the following distinguishes prophase 1 of meiosis from prophase of mitosis? A. Homologous chromosomes pair up. B. Spindle forms. C. Nuclear membrane breaks down. D. Chromosomes become visible. Number 18. A cell with a diploid number of 24 undergoes meiosis. How many chromosomes are in each daughter cell? A. 6, B. 12, C. 24, D. 48. Number 19. In anaphase 1, chromosomes in the homologous pair Blank A move toward the same centriole. B have their centromere split. C move towards different centrioles. D all of the above. Number 20. In telophase 1, the spindles A move toward the center of the cell. B pull chromosomes to opposite sides or opposite poles of the cell. C replicate. D briefly move to the outside of the cell. 
number 21, cytokinesis, A usually occurs simultaneously with telophase 1, B yields two cells with equal amounts of chromosomes, C forms two daughter cells, D all of the above. 22. What event does not take place in meiosis 2? A. The nucleus and nucleolus, if reformed at the end of meiosis 1, disappear. B. The chromosomes, if uncoiling, took place at the end of meiosis 1, recondense. C. The chromosomes, if they did not do so at the end of meiosis 1, are copied. D. The centrioles reappear. 23. In metaphase 2, each centromere is attached to A. Two different microtubules. B. Microtubules leading to each chromosome. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. 24. Which of the following does not occur in anaphase 2? A. The centromere split. B. The homologous pair separate. C. The sister chromatids are pulled towards opposite poles. D. All of the above occurs in anaphase 2. 25. Which of the following does not occur in telophase 2? A. The spinal fibers and centrioles disappear. B. The nuclei and nucleoli begin to reform. C. The chromosomes begin to uncoil. D. All of the above, of course, in telophase 2. 26. Meiosis begins with blank and ends in the formation of blank. A. One haploid cell for diploid cells. B. One diploid cell for haploid cells. C. One haploid cell to diploid cells. D. One diploid cell to haploid cells. Alright, 27. Thus, in humans, meiosis begins with one cell containing blank chromosomes and ends with blank cells containing blank chromosomes. Alright, 28. During what phase of meiosis do sister chromatids separate? A. Prophase 1, B. Telophase 1, C. Telophase 2, D. Anaphase 2. 29. One of these events does not take place during meiosis. A. One sex one successive division without any DNA replication, B crossing over, C segregation of homologous chromosomes, D separation of sister chromatids. And the last but not the least number, the meiotic division takes place in A somatic cells, B nerve cells, C reproductive cells, D bone cells. And you may pause this. For the answers, you may pause this video just to check your answer. And we have... Another set of questions for you. Plus for your plus points. Anyway, thank you for watching. We are now... Uh, we are now going to start for our next video. We're now going to start discussing week five of the quarter tool in Science 7 Mathematics curriculum. So that ends for our week four, quarter two, Science 7. Thank you so much for watching, and you may comment your score below regarding this score about or score ninyo sa summative test kaning 1 to 30 kung pilain nakuha you may comment down below thank you so much